Hi everyone, my name is George and in this video I'm going to share with you my last night of astrophotography where I capture the deep sky object using Skywatcher EVOSTAR 80D telescope as the main imaging telescope. It is Tuesday evening of December 20th and I finally got clear skies to do some astrophotography. Tonight actually I'm finishing the project I started in November. The target I'm working on tonight is well-known Andromeda Galaxy. Yes, I know everybody takes pictures of Andromeda Galaxy and even I took a picture of Andromeda last year using exactly the same telescope actually and a DSLR camera. The thing is, I've never taken a picture of this galaxy using a dedicated astronomy camera, especially like ZWO 2600MC Pro that I'm using tonight. In case you don't know, Andromeda is the closest to us galaxy that lies in about 2.5 million light years away in the constellation Andromeda. It is a home for around 100 trillion stars and it's a really huge structure. Right now, this galaxy is running towards the Milky Way galaxy where we're located at a speed of 110 kilometers per second and in a few billion years these two galaxies Andromeda and the Milky Way they will collide eventually and uh, form a bigger structure that most likely will be an elliptical galaxy. Okay let me tell you about the gear I'm using tonight. The main imaging telescope is Skywatcher EVOSTAR 80D. This is one of the telescopes that uh, many astrophotographers begin their journey when they start deep sky astrophotography. Uh, my main imaging camera is ZWO 2600MC Pro. It is a one-shot color dedicated astronomy camera that also has a cooling feature. Next to the camera I have a Svibony SV220 dual narrowband filter that I'm using specifically for tonight imaging and earlier I published a video review of this filter. The link will appear either over here or in this corner. And um, next to the filter, hold on. Okay, next to the filter I have Skywatcher focal reducer and flattener. Uh, the guiding that I'm using is the mini guide scope SV Boni SV165 and the guide camera SV305. Uh, everything, all the setup is controlled by the mini PC that I have right over here and uh, all the power is provided by Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. The whole setup is mounted on pretty good Skywatcher AQ6R Pro mount that I basically got for my Skywatcher 150PDS telescope but right now I'm running this setup on the AQ6R Pro mount. Okay, so I just started my imaging session like a few minutes ago and I'm about to get my first exposure of the Andromeda galaxy using a narrowband filter. And I'm gonna get my exposure right now. So that's the picture of the Andromeda galaxy that was captured using SV Boni SV220 dual narrowband filter. And uh, let's look at this image a little closer. So basically there are just tiny little structures of the nebulae right here. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I have no idea what the results I'm gonna get capturing the Andromeda galaxy, the broad target using a dual narrow band filter. Well, anyhow, um, I already have 18 hours worth of exposure time captured using uh, our Pro filter. I have five hours worth of data without any filters and hope I'll be able to add just, just tiny little detail of nebulae in the Andromeda galaxy to the final picture. All right, so the NIN software just finished flipping the telescope on the other side of the mount and I continued taking five minute exposures of Andromeda Galaxy using a narrow band filter. So right now it is 7.31 p.m. and the forecast says that I will have some clear skies maybe till 9 or 10 p.m. Anyway, I'm going to take all this time to capture as many frames as possible. It actually feels a little weird capturing Andromeda Galaxy at the end of the December, but as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I haven't had a nice clear skies for almost a month already. I just want to finish this project and get the final picture of the Andromeda galaxy that you will see at the end of this video. Okay, so it's a little after midnight and Andromeda galaxy is fully covered by clouds. 
so eventually I had almost five hours worth of exposure time. As I said at the beginning of this video, this project was the last one I was planning to complete using this setup and uh, I've used SkyWatcher 80D telescope over the last two years and I'm really happy with the results I've been able to achieve using this setup. In the near future, I'm planning to use SkyWatcher 150 PDS reflector telescope as my main imaging telescope. And I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys my astrophotography adventures in the future. Right now, it is time to reveal the final image of the Andromeda galaxy I got using SkyWatcher 880 telescope. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel and if you enjoyed watching this video and if you like content like this. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future videos and until then, clear skies.